We do have some breaking news regarding the royal baby. Max Foster is with us. For more, Max, what do we know right now? Well, I've just had it confirmed from Buckingham Palace. Uh, our source is telling us that the Duchess has gone into labour and Buckingham Palace just called me to confirm that news. They're not giving us any more information. This is the careful balance between uh, telling the world what they want to hear and what they, the couple, regard as a private event. Uh, so as uh, she's gone into labour, the next statement we'll have, Julia, is that she's uh, given birth, and then we'll have the sex, the, the time of birth, the weight of the baby, and possibly the name as well. We'll also, crucially, find out uh, where the baby was born. Uh, everything that we've been led to believe is that the Duchess wants to have uh, the baby at home here at Frogmore Cottage, just down the road here in Windsor. Uh, but uh, obviously... Um, uh, she's 37. They uh, were aware that uh, in terms of hospital procedure here in the UK, she's regarded as an older mother. So there were precautions in place as well to take her down to Frimley Park Hospital, which is about 10, 15 miles away. If there are any complications, uh, we'll find out where she's had the baby uh, as the news is announced of the birth. But much excitement as I look over the balcony. Uh, there's been uh, a lot of journalists, let me say that, to say the least, uh, Julia here in Windsor, trying to get ready for this news. And it's just come through. And... Uh, People are buzzing in the, in, the, in the town as well. This is a historic moment. There's been many royal births in Windsor before, but this is something a little unusual. Uh, the first American uh, royal baby. Absolutely. So feverish excitement, of course. And as you mentioned, we believe she was already overdue. So the waiting game had intensified in recent days too. But as you point out as well, many royal births, but this one very different in terms of the handling of it. So we're simply not quite sure in terms of details what we're going to get when at this stage well we are in the sense that they 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 just want to give operational updates effectively so they did tell us what that you know inform us when she's gone into labor when the baby's been born and then we have this gap of a few days before we see any pictures of the baby which will be a very tight group of pooled uh, journalists so a, a, a reporter and a photographer and a videographer will be invited to film the new family up in Windsor Castle in a few days after birth. And that's because they want to celebrate privately. They're trying to get the balance right in terms of the acceptance that they are these very famous public figures, but they also want it to be a very private affair. They want to celebrate privately. And because this baby would only be seventh in line to the throne, a very little chance of ever becoming monarch, there's no uh, sort of formal expectation of them to do anything in a particular way either. So it's really up to them. Uh, but they do accept public money. And I have to say, uh, you know, the, the media here in the UK do feel they have some access uh, to the new baby and this family and updates on the new family. So they're trying to play the balance there. There's also a whole load of history, Julia, as you know, uh, between Harry and the media, which goes back to his childhood and the invasion of privacy around his mother. Absolutely. Most likely name Max at this stage? Do they go irregular and unusual there or oh. do they play by usual protocol? I'd say every two or three hours I get a different email from a different betting company telling me a different name. So I really <laughs> have no idea. Again, you know, this child, this child isn't likely to become monarch. So uh, it doesn't necessarily have to have a regal British name. And I think that, you know, when uh, Julie, uh, Meghan, you know, she is patriotic, I think. And particularly when people move abroad, they become more patriotic, if I can speak from experience of friends of mine. And perhaps she does want to reflect um, an American name in this baby, considering it will be brought up here in the UK. It will be a dual US, UK citizen as well. Even Julia potentially paying US taxes. So perhaps it should yeah. have an American name. Who knows? Absolutely. Julie is a lovely name. Let's <laughs> just throw it out there. Max, also lovely too. The thank you so much countries. for that. We will wait. <laughs> Max Foster, thank you so much for that.